A shimmering light in the cornfield of a small Indiana farm has caused quite a stir for the past few decades. Join us as Paranormal TV offers the truth be told story of Moody's Light. Rensselaer, Indiana. A small farming community just 80 miles south of Chicago, known for its vast landscape and humble tranquility. It is also the site of one of the greatest unexplained mysteries of the century. Legend has it that Farmer Moody was chasing after his son's abductor in the darkness, guided solely by the light of his lantern. After a gallant chase, the man escaped, leaving Moody's dead son behind. Out of despair, Moody hung himself. Three flicks of your car light is said to summon the spirit of Moody and his bright lantern light. Witness Bob Lemire recalls his own experience. And I've seen the light myself coming out here. I've seen it. We've came out here and we flashed our lights like the legend says to, and we've seen the light come up down the road, get bright, and then seem to taper off as we went down the road. This home video footage documents his sightings. As Bob and his friend approach the stump, they flash their lights three times. Witnesses claim the light can even appear at will as it did here. The two lights on the right are known objects, while the one on the left appears much closer. After a few minutes, they notice something strange. The light vanishes, and a few moments later, it appears much brighter. Here's another investigation that was held into the mysterious sightings. So go ahead, flick it three times. Now let's look in the distance and see if anything happens. Unfortunately, nothing was seen after the first few minutes. Another attempt was made. Then, it happened. A light from the cornfield appeared in the darkness. You can see it in the upper left-hand corner of your screen as the camera tries to focus in. The light appears to be in the sky, but it is actually at ground level. The camera went from capturing total darkness to the light that suddenly appeared. The investigation then moves to get a closer view of the findings. What we've got here that could be one logical explanation is this particular stop sign right here. This thing here gave sort of a, a reddish glow from about a mile and a quarter down. These other signs at the end of the road could have reflected light as well. But where could a known source of light be? There was nothing out there. I mean, this is, this is absolutely endless. There, there's absolutely nothing out here whatsoever besides this. Upon returning to the site, a mass of spectators crowded around attempting to see Moody's light. Among them was a witness with an even closer encounter. This gentleman, Doug, over here just told me a story that he was here last night. What did you see last night? Um, right up by the side of the road, there was a little body with a lantern just walking around, looking on the side of the road. You could see the whole outline of the body. It was bright yellow, and so was the lantern. Whatever skeptics could say, this light appeared from an origin that no one could trace. The glow of Moody's light continues to be an unsolved mystery.